Samsung will be launching a 34-inch OLED monitor, which is likely to be ultra-wide with 21:9 aspect ratio, in addition to 55-inch and 65-inch QD OLED televisions next year. The information came from Korean financial news site eDaily.Korea, who had the scoop on the Quantum Dot OLED roadmap outlined by Samsung Display's President and CEO, Mr. J.S. Choi, during internal meetings with company executives. According to Mr. Choi, Samsung Display will mass-produce and release not only 55-inch and 65-inch televisions, but also 34-inch monitors based on QD display technology. Note that QD display is Samsung Display's marketing term for Quantum Dot OLED technology, where blue OLED light source is converted by Quantum Dots to red and green light with high color purity. While not specified in the news report, it is highly likely this new Samsung OLED monitor will have an ultra-wide form factor, given that the majority of 34-inch monitors on the market are ultra-wide with 21:9 aspect ratio. An ultra-wide monitor will also let Samsung charge a more expensive price to cover the high cost of the QD OLED panel production, which is reported to have an initial yield rate of only 33%. Although we expect yield rates to improve over time as Samsung Display gets a handle on the self-emissive display technology and refine its manufacturing process. To justify the price premium, Samsung may even make the 34-inch monitor curved, which is easier to achieve with OLED than LED LCD technology due to the lack of a backlight. Remember, Samsung's only OLED TV to date. The 55-inch S9C that was launched back in 2013 had a curved design. Of course, LG will launch a 42-inch C2 OLED TV next year too, which will likely be marketed as a gaming monitor, but for some people, it's still too big. A complaint I hear quite frequently. Samsung's new 34-inch OLED monitor will certainly be more suitable for desktop use, and furthermore, its RGB subpixel structure will render clearer and sharper text than the WRGB subpixel structure of the LG C2. The upside of the 42-inch LG C2 is that it will definitely be cheaper, significantly cheaper than the Samsung 34-inch OLED monitor, simply because LG Display has the economies of scale advantage thanks to a multi-year head start of manufacturing WRGB OLED panels since 2013, whereas realistically, Samsung Display will only begin mass production of QD OLED displays towards the end of 2021. LG Electronics do sell a 32-inch OLED monitor with true RGB subpixel structure, granted by a JOLED panel. But the LG EP950 only has a 60Hz refresh rate, and so won't appeal to gamers at all. Now, Samsung hasn't announced the resolution and refresh rate of its upcoming 34-inch OLED monitor, but given that Samsung Display has openly promoted its QD display technology for gaming due to OLED's faster pixel response time, I would be extremely surprised if the new 34-inch OLED monitor from Samsung doesn't have a refresh rate higher than 60Hz. Interestingly, if we use the Wayback Machine to look at when Samsung Display first published this product page for QD display, there is no mention about QD OLED being implemented on monitors at all, but in the latest revision at the time I filmed this video in November 2021, there's a section specifically dedicated to monitor use, further cementing the likelihood of a Samsung QD OLED monitor launch. Samsung Display's promotional page mentions how OLED's faster pixel response time can improve your gaming experience, but if you want to see it in action, I've previously done a side-by-side -side comparison video of OLED versus LCD gaming in terms of pixel response time, so go watch it here.